the day. Speaking of the impact on um, EcoCash Holdings, what they bought into is not what we're seeing playing out now, several years later. When I mean, you speak to the impact of this transaction, specifically on EcoCash shareholders. So for EcoCash shareholders, I think they're, they're gonna benefit um, because the value that they, you know, that's been placed on these businesses is, 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 I think, quite high. Um, and when they get the value of Econet shares, as they get, you know, get rid of those loss-making businesses, uh, I think they'll be better off because they will have more value than they're giving away at the end of the day. Um, and what remains in EcoCash is a bank um, which uh, is doing well for itself, I would say. Um, you know, if you look at the latest financials from, the, you know, from EcoCash, um, the banking you know, segment, which is Steward Bank, that was the only profitable segment at the EBITDA level. So you, you're seeing that what remains of EcoCash is actually a sound business. Um, and they actually get to have holdings Look, in, the, in the broader economy. We economic have business. listed financial institutions, or banks as it were, in this country, the likes of First Capital Bank um, mm -hmm. and several others that we've got in the fold that are also listed um, on the various exchanges that we've got in the country. Yes. Um, how much um, value can shareholders expect to glean from Stewart Bank, uh, which of course will now be uh, the alpha and omega of EcoCash going forward? It's not as much as you know growth or what you know Stuart Bank would do to the bigger banking sector, rather. But you know, it's, it's more about it's it's a sound business. It's a solid business. Um, I think they could even be it could even start declaring dividend on a consistent basis. That's how solid I think Stuart Bank is. <laughs> Napo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.